Hey Shrimp Keepers, it's Sean with Shrimp Aquatics. Okay, I'm going to try to keep this one very, very brief because it's been a really crappy weekend. Uh, one problem compiled, or compiled, I apologize. One problem landed on top of another problem, which led to another problem. This weekend, without realizing it, I sentenced 75, 80 cherry red shrimp to death. And for me personally, that absolutely sucks. One, as a hobbyist, I don't ever want to lose shrimp. And then two, as somebody that is trying to make a little extra income by being able to sell his shrimp. Taking a hit like that has probably set me back a month and a half. Now we're this comes into I've been debating on whether or not to do this video this weekend is because I didn't want people to watch it and then go wow this guy is an idiot he sh why am I watching him but then I've never claimed to have a clue as to what I'm doing yet and even the description of my channel. I'm doing this so that we can learn together and so that maybe you can learn from my screw ups. So that being said, let's, let's get into it real quick. That way I don't take up another 20 minutes of your existence watching something that well, if you're at the channel, then it's obviously something that you want to watch or you're supporting my channel. So thank you either way. But let me rotate this around. Okay. If you've been watching my channel, you're very familiar with this 40-gallon breeder. This houses one of my communities of red cherry shrimp that one is still by far my absolute favorite male of this colony his colors are just outstandingly dark and beautiful coloration i am very very happy that he did not perish in my blunder Okay, <clears throat> so getting right to it real quick here. This tank used to be on, or upstairs. I stripped it down, I took out 99% of the substrate, I removed the filters, did everything, brought it downstairs, put in brand new sand substrate uh, HTH pool filter sand absolutely beautiful sand for a shrimp tank they it's got good granules good coloration it allows for even with my darker shrimp if I just put a smidgen layer of uh, the fluval shrimp stratum right here over the top of it. It helps buffer the water to keep it around a uh, a 7.6 acidity or pH, sorry. Well, my problem was I did all that, then I refilled it with brand new water, got it all remineralized with salty shrimp, GH, KH+. And then put in the two filters that were originally in it, that not being one of them. 
that one was one of them and then that guy right there was the other one well I took that one right there to help cycle this tank a little faster that was where my screw up began because taking out all of my substrate here well all of my substrate across I removed probably 60% of my beneficial bacteria that had this tank stabilized then just having my two sponge filters in there this tank was just holding its own so if I would have added more it probably would have led to this problem if I would have taken some away it would have lessened this problem I've got the ability to take some away with the secondary tank there and there's actually a third tank upstairs that is still coming down here it's going to become my show tank but I replaced the filter I took out with this guy which by the way that filter right there just in surface space or surface area sorry and the amount of water it moves fantastic absolutely fantastic filter I cannot preach more about it that is also why I sell it that filter <clears throat> being new obviously no beneficial bacteria so I came in Saturday morning and found two of my biggest healthiest oldest female cherry shrimp dead both of which buried to the gills I don't know how to do the whole extract the berry or the eggs out of them put them in the tank let them suck I, I don't know how to do that as somebody that's trying to grow the business and the hobby I should probably invest in one of those uh, egg tumblers and see if that'll help next time but so get both of them out of the tank I'm confused I'm panicking I'm thinking oh my god what got into my tank the reason for that is it is springtime and with spring has come well of course it would run in hot oh there we go with spring if it would ever actually become spring here in Lincoln Nebraska come the ants well I didn't realize the ants were quite out yet did some maintenance in the room on Friday night left a soda can right here came back into the room Saturday morning and wouldn't you know it probably 500 of those little buggers in out around through that soda can and using this as an expressway getting all the way around to that corner going down going up the wall out needless to say landlords already been contacted to have the whole house treated again for ants but I didn't know maybe the ants carried something in did they drop it did one dr fall in and die and it was already covered in some type of ant killer so again freaking i grabbed the test kit i ran for nitrites nitrates and ammonia nitrite zero nitrates zero ammonia i don't know how well this will show up but if you guys have one of these cards here i think i got a better light for this if you guys happen to have one of these cards you see that 2.0 and 4.0 on the ammonia side there 
yeah. This tank sitting somewhere between those two. So I'm figuring I was somewhere right around 2.75 to 3 parts per million ammonia inside my cherries tank. And that makes sense. They haven't been as active as they were. They were not eating as much as they were before. And with me ripping out the old filter and putting that one in, removing the substrate, putting new substrate in, I set myself up for disaster from the get-go. The number one rule of fish keeping or fish hobbying is you have to have patience. I did not have the patience. I took them, I threw them back in. I didn't let this tank go through a mini cycle. Well, now I have definitely let this tank dictate the actions in which I have to do now. So they got a water decrease to about there filled with brand new RO water, retested, there's another one of them little buggers right there, retested, and ammonia is at zero. Tested again this morning, ammonia still at zero. Tested, I don't know, probably an hour ago, ammonia still at zero. So, I'm going to keep a very close eye on this tank over the next few days because obviously I've got another generation of babies, or fry. I have been selling some of these guys as of recently. They're about, I don't know, half inch long, beautiful coloration. There is a couple just probably day or so old fry right there that haven't even really colored up yet that's always exciting seeing new fry that's always exciting so one of these big buried mamas is giving birth right now very exciting i love it but how not to kill your shrimp have patience recycle your substrate bring it with you don't start a new I mean all the the fluval shrimp stratum that came from the other tank in that might have been some deaths so that could have added to the ammonia I don't know it's it's a lot of stuff that could have been in play to cause my ammonia spike but luckily I caught it before all of them were dead but still, to lose 75 shrimp plus two very experienced females that carry anywhere from 30 to 40 each time I probably killed over the rest of their life. I don't know. 800 shrimp. Maybe that's what I'll name this video. How not to kill 800 cherry shrimp. But, all right, that's, this has been long enough. It's 13 and a half minutes. Oh, sorry, 14 minutes long. I haven't figured out how to do the editing yet, so. Shrimp keepers, I'm sorry. I've disgraced us. No, I'm, I'm messing. Uh, all in all, learn from my mistake don't make the same mistake if you have questions leave them in the comments below i promise i'll get to them if you guys have an idea for a video or two give me a heads up let me know what it is i'll be more than happy to give you any insight into it in which i can give you uh again still learning made a huge rookie mistake live learn move on. That's all you can do. All right, guys, keep on shrimping. Talk to you next time. Bye.